Uh, before I get started, I just want to say make sure you follow me on social media. You'll see all the stuff that I post that doesn't make it to this channel. And if you want to talk, that's the place to do it. Now on to the, the cool stuff. So this morning, this morning is, I guess, officially the start of my gunnery. Uh, we have to do like the simulators, and that's like a required stepping stone to actually get to the part where you fire the actual brads. They're in like these trailer things that I guess you can just tow around with a truck if you wanted to, but that's what I'll be doing for the next like four hours. Gunnery has officially begun. Army that you'll be stuck in traffic before 6 a.m. of in like the crawling slash walking it's basically a dry fire for the actual table that we're gonna be shooting so we'll go through we'll be driving down we're we'll doing all the normal stuff but we just won't have ammo so this is a good chance to test all our systems make sure our checks are in place and it kind of works out any kinks and possible mechanical issues that we might have in the future right now all of our brads are on a line and we'll be lining up on these little berms and then we'll go down and we'll do all our our fun stuff the sun is shining it's gonna be a good day Here's my Brad. It's good old Alpha 65. Alpha meaning I'm an Alpha company, 6 meaning I'm in headquarters, and 5 meaning I'm the XO. Right now we're just prepping everything to go, you know, doing the normal, checking the armor for soft spots, getting exhaust samples, all the good stuff. All jokes aside, operating a Bradley can be pretty complicated, so these are the actual checks that we have to go through before we can even think about actually shooting this thing. Talk about something I get asked a lot, shyness or introversion as a whole. What do you do in the army if you are shy or introverted? Which is an excellent question and it applies to all branches of the military, but I'm sticking with army because that's what I know. Now there's this stereotype of officers in the army and especially in the infantry, that were all these extroverted type A go-getters. And as a branch in the infantry, we're the most people-centric. Tankers have their tanks, pilots have their helicopters, chemical officers have those weird gym suits they wear around. The infantry, we just have soldiers and a few broken trucks. Now, for those of you who don't know me, this might come off as a slight surprise, but for people who do know me, this is no surprise at all. I'm incredibly introverted. Now, I don't mean I just sit in a corner at parties and sulk the whole time, although sometimes I do. But truthfully, being around people exhausts me. It takes a long time for me to get comfortable around people, and I definitely need my alone time to, like, recharge and not feel completely drained. And alone time, for those of you who know, is almost non-existent in the army and is literally non-existent if you're like deployed or in a training environment. Now, I wouldn't say I'm shy necessarily. Any residual shyness that I had from childhood was completely nuked by the military due to the nature of my job, which I guess is an unspoken perk, simply due to the logarithmic growth of human interactions I've had every day since then. But I definitely would not classify myself as like this type A personality who just walks in and owns a room and stuff like that. I'm usually definitely the one to talk the least in a group of people. And it's not because I'm just scared and sulky and all this other stuff. 
I just prefer to listen to people rather than talk to myself. Now, the question being, of course, is it bad to be introverted in the military? Well, no, with an asterisk. See, I have no intentions of trying to be not introverted. I don't see it as a personal flaw of any kind. It's who I am and I own that. It doesn't come from some source of like insecurity. And insecurity with introversion is where the problem would arise. Shyness in my line of work can ruin you. It prevents you from getting things done you need to. It prevents you from asserting yourself effectively to subordinates. It prevents you from having connections that would prove helpful for achieving what you need to do. And it can prevent you from effectively making decisions and committing to something. It will remove your sense of self-reliance, which you need to be confident. No one wants that lieutenant who can never make the tiniest decision without consulting everyone in the building and then eventually just pawns off his decision making to someone else. Now, everyone has insecurities naturally, but it's a about one, owning them if it can't be changed and two, working on it simply if it can. Do I get made fun of for the personal attributes that are kind of weird at work? Absolutely. Do I have any intentions of changing them whatsoever? Absolutely not. I do not care. Confidence, like anything else, comes from just a sense of self-awareness and where things come from and how you can fix them. Now, with a lot of things, the whole fake it till you make it thing works. I've used it all the time, but I would not use it in terms of introvertness. Now, if you're shy and you're wanting to be more outgoing, that's one thing. But if you are an introverted person as a whole, faking extroversion usually does not work out. What I mean is if I were to go to work tomorrow trying to be this like huge type A, super loud kind of guy, everyone would think it was weird. And I would also know that it was weird because that's not who I am. Not because I'm trying to fit someone else's expectations, but that's just not who I am or what I wanna be. It would come off as fake and weird and disingenuous and everyone would be able to see right through it. So I would avoid trying to fake your way into being extroverted and just own your introvertness. I personally like that I'm an introvert. I think it adds a little mystique and a little bit of je ne sais pas kind of stuff. That's exaggeration, but you get the point. It's not bad to be introverted as long as it's not stemming from some sense of insecurity. Uh, just a heads up though, I know I have it posted in like three weeks, but I'm about to be gone for like two more. So like I said in the beginning, if you want to see all the stuff that I am going to be doing in these next two weeks, make sure you follow me on Instagram and all my other social media. Link's going to be in the description. And on that note, thank you for watching.